What's going on, everybody? You found Bottom Tier Collector. I'm your host, The Beer of One. As always, thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting on my content. Uh, <clears throat> bottom Tier content from Bottom Tier Collector seems to be something I'm saying again lately. And uh, that rings true in this haul. This is not a comic book haul that I purchased recently, nor is it a multiple comic book haul. This is uh, an order I purchased from Discount Comic Book Service. Uh, I thought I was in a position to start having uh, a curated monthly pull list again. And unfortunately, just due to some circum financial circumstances I'm not willing to disclose publicly, um, can't buy new comic book day books without feeling extremely guilty. So if I buy anything you know for at least the next six to ten months it's gonna be like a two dollar lobo appearance and then that's it i can't i can afford comic books but i can't afford the hobby if that makes sense anyways sadness aside i got this comic book and uh i'm glad it came in um on this haul i got this book and uh, a Cerebus book, Cerebus Goes to Hell, I think I got, and um, the cover A of this book, I I got by mistake, and DCB, DCBS was still processing the order. They gave me the rest of my haul uh, a month ago. This was for a January's pre-orders, and uh the cerebus book and then this book and cover a were not in the mail which i mistakenly purchased cover a because i wasn't sure which one was going to give me the cover i wanted of this book so uh, they couldn't give me cover a either which was great that was a mistake that uh, i didn't mean to pay for uh but they ended up getting the cover i wanted so yeah uh my my rule for covers you know when i'm when i'm purchasing comic book covers I want cover A, period, unless unless Lobo is on the cover. Uh, this is Deceased, War of the Undead Gods, number five. Uh, this is the cover B. Uh, I don't know if it's cardstock. It feels a little, it might be cardstock. It feels a little flimsy. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about this cover. Um, it's, it's a wraparound cover, so there you go. Uh, I don't know about this cover. It looks like it was made digitally, like obviously digital. And um, I don't know. There's just something about it I'm, I'm not crazy about. Uh, I, could, I can't place it. I mean, Lobo looks fine. Maybe his hair. I don't like his hair. That, that's part of it. Uh, but yeah, like they got the neat pads with the skull chain wrapped around the arm. Vest. I mean, they even got the, the belt buckle. I mean, Lobo looks good, but his hair, something about his hair. And then, I don't know, it just the whole thing kind of rubs me the wrong way. I'm just not a fan of it. Um, but that's cool. It's not a trash cover by any means. I'm sitting here trashing on the cover, and it is not a trash cover. It's, you know, I'm still glad to have it in the collection. Uh, I read Deceased War of the Undead Gods number one and uh, Lobo was just a cover queen on, on in issue number one he wasn't even in the story he was just on the cover which is weird because he got a cover C and then he got a 1 in 100 variant for number one which I, I haven't gotten the 1 in 100 variant yet uh, don't think that book will be worth a whole lot down the road so I, I'm waiting for it to come down especially in this market uh, I do have the cover C though so and I don't know. Maybe he's in the store. Maybe he's not. Uh, but I like the premise. And, you know, Mr. Miracle's also in it. Another character I like a lot. So, uh, looking forward to reading Deceased War of the Undead Gods. My dog's fixing to bark and irritate me. I'm going to try to get off before and beat her to the punch so she doesn't bark on camera. Uh, that'll do me for now, guys. Just a short little one book haul. Got it from DCBS. You know, a pre order I made months ago for the month of January. And uh, glad to have another Lobo book in the collection. Again, like I said, not in a place to have new comics coming in, um, be they back issues or actual new comic book day books. 
Um, but that doesn't mean I still can't be in the hobby. You know, I'm doing the, the WrestleMania series, so stay tuned for that. WrestleMania 2 review coming out next week. I might put in a little work today and get started watching it. I, I'm just ready to watch WrestleMania 2. Um, and then I'll, I'll do another review se uh, next week. You know, I want to, I don't want wrestling to just take over the channel. So I'm trying to get more motivated about my comic book reviews. Uh, and, and continue doing that stuff, you know. So if I can't buy comics, I can still read them, right? Uh, we often forget that as collectors, you can still read your read the books you own, uh, especially if you have a, a, a collection like I do, a largely unread collection like I do. Admittedly, uh, you can still read your books if you if you can't buy books. That'll do me, guys. As always, thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting. I, I appreciate the support. We're nearing 100 subscribers, and uh, couldn't do it without you guys and the word of mouth. And uh, until next time.